Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, there you are, Charlie. What are you doing with that sock? Are you going to put on some shoes? Ah, you've just taken off your boots. Then you're going to do some washing. A sock puppet! That's what you wanted the sock for! Fantastic! Hello there, sock puppet. Hello! Has Charlie introduced you to all his toy friends yet? That's Midge and Rivet, Bellerina and Niblet, of course, Caramel and last but not least, Frozo. Has Sock Puppet got any friends of his own, Charlie? He's friends with your other paw. <laughs> oh, I see. You're going to make another Sock Puppet for him to be friends with. Ah, yes, your washing basket is a good place to look for a sock. Awesome shorts. You must have another sock, Charlie. Socks come in pairs, one for each foot. All you need to do is have a really good look for it. Detective Charlie, a sock detective. Are you here to solve the case of the missing sock? Oh yes, nothing will escape your notice because you're Charlie Bear, sock detective. There your clothes on the washing line, Charlie. T-shirt, shirt, trousers, sock, Shorts, but uh, hold on a minute, sock! You found the missing sock! That was easier than I thought. Huh? The sock has gone missing again. Someone must have taken it. Those must be the footprints of whoever took your sock. Follow those footprints, Charlie. T-shirt, shirt, space where your trousers were, space where your sock was, shorts. Uh, now your trousers have gone missing as well. This is terrible. This is most strange, Charlie. Who is taking all your washing off the washing line? This is such a mystery. But it's a mystery that Charlie Bear Sock and Trouser Detective can solve. That's right. Now, whoever it is must be here somewhere. Have you found them? The rest of your clothes, all the washing, it's gone. First your sock, now everything else. Old Charlie, what will you do now? Did you see anyone there, Charlie? How will you be able to make a friend for your sock puppet if you don't have a sock? 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You're not giving up being a detective, are you, Charlie? <laughs> Maybe you should look behind you, Charlie. <laughs> Frozo must have been bringing your clothes off the washing line because they were all nice and dry. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Yes, well done, Charlie. Now you can make a friend for your sock puppet. Oh, after it's been washed and cleaned. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, sock puppet. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are! What are you doing, Charlie? Are you trying to tiptoe quietly? No, oh, okay. Uh, throwing a ball now. Throwing a ball and walking. I know, you're walking in custard and holding a giant cherry. Not that either. Um, ah, uh, a rocket. I see. You're pretending to walk on the moon. You're an astronaut. Do you think there's anything up there on the moon, Charlie? Aliens? Would you like to meet an alien? Well, you'd better be quick. The moon is a long way and it's nearly bedtime. Do astronauts usually take balls with them into space? OK, why not? Got your seatbelt on? Then we are ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two. Oh, he's gone. Um, so will we have blast off? Well, there's something you don't see every day. It. What's it like to be on the moon, Charlie Bear? It looks like fun. Are you going to look for an alien? Where do you think an alien would live on the moon? Maybe there's one hiding behind that big moon rock. Hmm. Do you think the alien might be somewhere over that hill? Don't be scared, Charlie Bear. It's only Rivet with a funny pair of eyes on his head. Except he's not Rivet, he's an alien. I should have known from the boggly eyes. I apologise, Rivet. You're making friends with an alien, Charlie Bear. I think he wants to play moonball with you, Charlie. Watch out! Moonball is very bouncy. Hey, what a kick! Just missed it, Charlie.
Oh, look, Charlie. This is where the alien lives. It's his moon home. He's got a very bouncy bed. Did you know that things bounce six times higher on the moon, Charlie Bear? It looks like six times as much fun. <laughs> hey! Oh, he's got a rocket just like you. Are you taking your alien friend to see your rocket, Charlie? Oh, you want to show the alien where you live. Are you going to take him home with you to meet all your friends? I think the alien wants to stay on the moon, Charlie Bear. Maybe it's for the best. It's bedtime. I think it's the alien's bedtime too. He's got his own home here, just like you have on Earth. What a kind thing to do for your new friend, Charlie. Stand by to blast off. Five, four, three. Oh, he's done it again. Back just in time, ready for bed. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. It's bedtime, not bounce time, Charlie Bear. You're not on the moon now. Bye-bye, <laughs> little Charlie Bear. Good night. Psst, everyone. It's Charlie's birthday, but I'm pretending I don't know because a birthday cake is going to arrive later and it would be nice if it was a surprise. OK, let's call Charlie. Ready? <clears throat> are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are. What are you making, Charlie? You've cut out a circle. Oh, it looks like you're making a giant ice cream cone. It's a hat. Oh, nice. Is it a wizard's hat? Then is it a, a party hat? Fantastic. What's the party for? Is it somebody's birthday? Oh, whose birthday is it? Someone behind you? Caramel? It's Caramel's birthday. Oh, sorry. Silly me. You want to keep it a secret from Caramel so we don't ruin the birthday surprise. Don't worry, Charlie. I'll help you put on a surprise birthday party for Caramel. Great. You start and I'll follow. Charlie doesn't suspect a thing. That's a birthday cake for Charlie. Charlie's friends know it's Charlie's birthday as well. They're keeping it a surprise, just like us. here to help set up the party, Charlie. <laughs> I've never seen someone pump up balloons like that before. Niblet and Midge are helping too. Caramel is going to love all these decorations, isn't she, Charlie? <laughs> mm. 
Niblet doesn't understand why you would want a picture of a bear on the wall. Caramel is a cow. Ah, that's better. It looks just like the birthday girl. Poor Charlie. He really does think that we've forgotten, but we haven't, have we? <clears throat> Charlie, why don't you help Bellerina with the party music? No, it's too quiet. Ah, that's just right to dance to. That's it, Charlie. Practice your party dancing with Frozo. Don't you want to dance to ballet music, Charlie? Oh, have you decided to wait for Caramel instead? I wonder what it is they can see. <gasps> oh no, it's Caramel. The party isn't ready yet. Quick, Charlie, you'll have to distract her. Don't let her pass, Charlie. Looks like Caramel has given up. It was a trick. She's heading for the party. Surprise! It's your surprise birthday party, Charlie. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, little Charlie Bear. <laughs> It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Happy birthday, Charlie. We haven't forgotten. We would never forget your birthday. We love you too, Charlie. Bye-bye, Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, there you are, Charlie. Charlie? Did you want to go outside and have an adventure today? But it's raining. Oh, well, you can still have an adventure inside. Just use your imagination, Charlie. You're good at that. What sort of adventure is this? Uh, uh, are you cleaning the floor with your tummy? You're heading toward Midge. Uh, oh dear! It looked like you fell down all the way from the window to the wardrobe. <laughs> oh, I see. You're pretending to climb up a mountain. The window is the top of the mountain, and the wardrobe is the bottom. Charlie is a brave mountaineer trying to rescue Midge. Wow! Charlie, you look like a real mountaineer. Are you on top of a mountain? Oh, now that is a tall mountain. And there's Midge, way up on the high snowy peak. You're not going to climb all the way up there to rescue Midge, are you, Charlie? All the way up this sheer rock face? You're 
You're the bravest bear I've ever met. Is there no other way up? Then how did Mitch get up here? At least there's a safety rope to attach your harness to. Hey, they're like steps. Maybe this won't be so difficult after all. One step, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four hundred and thirty-three. Oh, no more stairs. I wish Midge wouldn't look over the edge like that. doing that on the floor. You're very brave, but I don't think I am. Don't forget to hold on tight. Oh, watch out, Charlie. You must be climbing toward the seagull's nest. You'll have to climb around it, Charlie. Can you see where you're going, Charlie? Ooh, that's better. Oh no, there's nothing for you to hold on to. You're stuck, Charlie. And Mitch is stuck on top too. What are you going to do, Charlie? You're using the rope to climb up. What a brave mountaineer. doesn't want to go down the way you came up, Charlie. Now what are you going to do? Oh, I see. There's another way down. <laughs> well, it's a fun way down too. that bear. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. You're both going to climb back up the mountain? Wow! Be careful. Bye-bye, little Charlie bear. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> 